So you have a an older maybe. I don't want to say old. Well, it could be old. Doesn't matter. But older. It could be even an iPhone 12, which really shouldn't be considered old by any means. But you have that, and of course. The iPhone 13 is out and the iPhone 13 has this cool macro mode and you're like, I would like to shoot macro stuff. And I get that, but you don't have uh, a lot of money and you're not quite sure. Macro is one of those things, right? That you're like, it's cool. Would I use a lot? I don't know. Maybe you're a macro person and you love it. Um, but your, your budget says don't spend, don't spend so much. So uh, we got sent this. This is by, it uh, looks like a company called a pixel, a pixel, but you're looking at right now. Normally it's around forty dollars, but thirty-six dollars right now um, for the HD 100 millimeter macro lens. And 100 millimeters kind of that sweet spot for like even high-end macro. I've shot some beautiful macro photography shots with an actual Canon full-size 100 millimeter macro. Uh, so this is this is what you're getting for your smartphone. Uh, but for, for $36. So right now, 46 reviews, giving it four and a half stars. Hmm, I'm curious. Okay, so for, for 46 reviews for $36, what do you expect? What do you, what do you get? Now, first off, don't, don't compare it to what you're gonna get from, you know, a thousand dollars or higher mirrorless or SLR lens, that's not to be expected. But what can you expect from your smartphone? Well, I don't know. So it does say here, uh, universal clip compatible with 98% of mobile phones. So it doesn't even have to be an iPhone. We're testing it on an iPhone, but it doesn't have to be um, because it just kind of snaps on. You get your nice little lens. There's your little clip thing and off you go. Now, the other thing to realize too is because it's universal, my guess is that it's not necessarily gonna be perfect because it doesn't have a cutout for like the iPhone lens. So that means that you want to make sure that you get it in the right spot. Anyways, uh, I'm, I'm very curious now for $36 US what you can get. Here it is, right? There's that Apex, Apexel, Apexel. Make the best use of photography. And if you can get one of these for like inexpensive price like this, that could be, that could be fantastic. All right, let's, let's see what's in this box. And I'm always curious about like size. Like I want a decent size lens because Usually to get a good piece of glass, usually you need a fairly large size, but you are dealing with a smartphone. Um, here it is, the lens instruction manual. My guess is, you, you know, put it put it on your, on your camera and off you go. And they have a bunch of different ones. You can go on their website and take a look, but you know, all kinds of different wide angles and telephotos and whatever see you see right here two times telephoto 170 degrees 195 degrees fisheye wide angle and of course the macro lens which is what we have right here all right cool you get a little cleaning cloth so two things that you're going to want to do is clean the actual phone lens and make sure that your uh, lens that you're putting on is clean a little case that's that's nice everybody likes a little case and then last but not least, last but not least, you get, this open somehow, you get, well that's a good size little lens. It's a good size little lens, look at that. That's way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Now it's not necessarily as heavy as some of the ones that I've used, but, nice little cap on the front. All right, that's nice. And does that just pop off like so? You just kinda whittle it off? I'm guessing so, there it is. That's a, that's a good looking little lens. Okay. And of course there's a little cap that comes with it for the rear. And you get, you get this. So this clamps on, does this move? Yes, yeah. so you can move it up and down to make sure that it fits. Now that's why they say, you know, 95% because it does have to be, your lens has to be within this kind of range of the outside of the camera. So if your camera's down further than what this can do, then that's not going to work. All right, let's put this on there. And then this, this just, 
It just screws on there, right? And you even got a little right there. You guys can see it, I think. Macro 100. Okay. First off, let's, let's, I'm trying, I turned off the macro mode on my iPhone. So I'm curious if this would work. So I think my guess would be, I'm just going to put this right down here again. Just pop that in there. So if I were to take this, for instance, and put it there. So I want to move this down. Now, the other bonus of this is that the lens itself is actually down pretty low in comparison to the lip of the lens. And the lip, does it look like, yeah, it does look like it actually has threading to it. So maybe you can get like some filters to put on. That's, that's curious. Okay, so this unscrews and then you can get that clamp exactly how you want it. So you just kind of unscrew it like so. Anything? Nope. Unscrew it some more. Okay. Somewhere in that range, I'm guessing. And then all you're going to do is you're going to move it around so you kind of get it in there. On this, this fella here, so that's kind of our sweet spot, which means we can get that. And you want this to be fairly straight, right? So I have a case on there and you probably, you probably want the case not on it. So let's, let's do that. We're going to, we're going to take the case off because you see how it's, it's not necessarily straight because you, you want it to be there. Oh, I guess you could just, you could move that, get that in its spot, right? Get that where it needs to be. Yes. And then just kind of push this maybe so it just lines up straighter. Yeah, you could do that. Just kind of, you just kind of use this to straighten it out a little bit all right oh yeah no there we go that's oh yeah and you guys can see i got that on there right now but let's get like it says it says apex right here let's take this and get like right in close so you're looking at about you see a little hair on there but you're looking at about that kind of distance see so i'm going to take a little photo for you click well, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. If you didn't have this on, I, I kind of want to shift it, but you couldn't get that close, right? So what else can you get? Can you get like, let's see if we can get some like texture from this. Oh, I like that. That's not bad. And this kind of gives you a very similar, I would think, macro mode to what the iPhone 13 can do uh, naturally. So I don't think this would be something that you would buy if you were like, oh, I have an iPhone 13. Well, you have macro mode already, so th don't worry about it. But if you didn't, then this could be really nice. Let's see what else I have here. Let's see what else. I got like texture on this, this handle. Let's see the texture on this handle, ready? And you just kind of figure out where you want because it has like a, a locked in distance for focus. So find it, focus. And I'm like, okay, I want that screws are going to back up a little bit, find focus, pop. That's nice. And you should be able to go into video mode as well. You just got to watch. And I think this could be really nice if you're someone that really likes getting in close for stuff because you could use this for slow-mo to get in those b-roll shots like that's actually quite lovely okay i'm pleased with that especially at this kind of price point let's uh let's come in here again we got our little a and we got some depth and we're just going to move toward it so the focus comes in right there oh yes yeah that's sharp and we're just shooting in like normal normal photo mode or video mode, but we could go into slow-mo of course here, which let's see if I can get slow-mo to focus. Let's find it, will it focus? There it is. Okay, so there it is right there. And I could just be a little, come across there, a little shh. And you got that in slow-mo or you got your keyboard, you know? Oh yeah, see how close you can get with the keyboard? Like, you can just look at it and be like, my keyboard is filthy. I had no idea. Look at all the, I gotta clean my keyboard.
That's what I gotta do. Yeah. I just wanna get closer. A pillow. I got a pillow. Ready? I got a pillow. Coming in here, we're looking at we're looking at pillow texture. There's pillow texture right there. Hey. Okay, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna say, and I and I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time on this because I was like, it's a macro one, and I'm not, you know, I don't know how good the quality is gonna be. And at that point, price point, I was, you know, you just you really don't know. I'm I'm doing macro of everything. I'm coming in here looking at this weird thing, right? Macro, boom, and it's honestly it's it's not a lot of times when you get these on. Um, you always get some kind of weird like vignetting or distortion, but it's 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 not. It's you're not getting much of that at all. The only thing you have to realize, I think this is really this plays a big it's a really important part of it, is that the lens has to really be parallel with your phone, right? So you really gotta make sure, and that's what I think this piece is is probably more so more important than you think, because this helps push you get it clamped on there and then you use this to make sure that this piece kind of pushes itself back out so that it the lens runs parallel because if not then the lens is on an angle which means that you're going to get way more distortion because the focal distance on a macro lens is so small like it's so small yeah that's really can i do i'm gonna i want to do the eye shot I do, but I don't know, like I don't know what kind of distance. So if I come up here and I do this, ready? If I do that, I want light. Do that. Any of those taking a picture? It's hard, right? Because, yeah. If I take enough of them, I may be able to figure out what I'm doing here. So we'll come here and go, Click, 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 click. I think I'm too far at that point. Oh, there's one. Oh, right? You guys see that? So you may have to play around just to kind of figure out your distance, but not bad, not bad. For 35 bucks, 36, 37 bucks US, you want to get into macro photography with your smartphone? That's, that's fantastic, well done. Not bad at all. That's one of the crispiest shots of my own eye I've ever shot, I think. Very cool. All right, guys, I'm going to put links to Epexel. Epexel? To, to take a look at some of the lenses. And if they're macro ones like this, my guess is there are other ones maybe, maybe on par, right? And then you unscrew this when you're ready. Then you just pop it off. Okay, I'm down. I'm down. Link's down below. Link's down below to this if you're interested. Yeah. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that little notification bell. And I think that's a win. That's a win. That's probably one of the best little macro lenses that I've tried at this price point, for sure. All right, guys. Go, go get yourself a macro lens.